It was during this period that Thompson began an intimate relationship with Jay Bay, a spot many feel he rode better than anyone before or since. This epic right point is considered one of the globe's surfing treasures, and Thompson was able to hone his program on the expansive walls regularly. It was here that he adopted his low, sprawling stance, constantly rocking his board from rail to rail, eyes focused well down the line. It's also where he tuned what became one of the cleanest roundhouse cutbacks in the game. The varied sections and complexity of Jeffries taught Sean pacing and the benefits of long, fluid turns. It marked his style indelibly. <laughs> Jay Bay is my dream wave. I love that wave. Uh, I first started surfing Jeffries in 1968. And, um, my first trip to Jeffries. I went there with a the short board. And in those days, we only surfed right at the end of the break called the point, because the waves were, uh, it was just considered too fast and too dangerous. We had no leg ropes then, so it was, you know, very, uh, very intimidating to surf there on a big day. And it really helped me in, in identifying what kind of lines I need to draw. This is just this beautiful, long, powerful, strong wave. 